welcome to T4 Show. My name is Michael Mana, and today we are going to unbox and do a detailed review of the Sprint HTC Evo View 4G. Not the HTC Evo, but this is the tablet version of the Evo. And also we're going to use the HTC Scribe, which is a pen that works throughout the operating system on the View 4G. So I'm going to take this out. Now I've already logged into my Google account and had it set up. So we're just going to take a basic uh, look at the hardware and take this out here. And first, before we do that, we'll see what comes with the actual tablet. We have the wall charger, micro USB, which is on the bottom of the device, as well as a micro USB cable. So you get a wall charger and also the micro USB looks a little weird to me, if you can see that. It does, it is uh, on the specs that I saw say micro USB, but looks proprietary by the looks of this plug. So I'm not too sure about that. But it does say micro USB, I read up on the, on the specs online. So here's the actual HTC Evo View 4G. Got the screen up here, Got a little bit of reflection, so we'll get back to that. This is the power button, this is the uh, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And here is the port that I was talking about, that they're saying is micro USB. I, I'm sure it is, but it looks like it's shaped pretty differently than the micro USBs I've used. On the side here, we have the volume rocker, which you can see here. Well, that doesn't bring it up on the lock screen. There's the actual lock screen for it, and you can see we have the time, the date, and you have to pull the ring to unlock, so bring it up to the center. So on the back here, we have a 5 megapixel camera, rear facing camera. As you can see too, it looks just like a 7 inch version of the HTC Evo, so has much the same look and feel besides being bigger uh, that's the Evo and as well as that it also has a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front that's not up at the top but here in landscape mode so uh, we're gonna take a uh, I'm gonna get a chance to use this because I haven't used the scribe pen in the OS yet so I want to definitely check it out it does have sense on it not sense 3.0 but the uh, tablet version of sense so we'll come back and I'll take a tour of uh, everything here and try to make it as detailed as I possibly can here we are at the lock screen on the view 4g and uh, I have this in landscape mode because I think it's going to translate better uh, on the camera for now and a lot of this stuff looks really good in landscape mode now you see I, ha I actually have mail, calendar, internet, and camera that I can access from the lock screen. I think that's pretty cool, and we'll come back to that. Pull the ring in there, and here comes HTC Sense. So you can see I have the sun shining on the tablet, because it's sunny right now in Valrico. And as I was testing this out, it, it is moving very quickly. It has a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon processor in it and it runs pretty smooth from what I've been using. And it doesn't have, see it has a carousel effect. It doesn't have it like say on the Evo phone where you have to go to one end and then come back to the home screen. But if you wanted to do that, I could be right here, still hit the home screen and come back. Also, if I hit the home screen again, I go in helicopter mode and you can see all the screens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screens uh, for a sense on that. And you can customize those with sense for the scenes, skin, wallpaper. You can customize the lock screen. Also, you can add items, add a widget, app, all the other stuff, sound set. Uh, there are a lot more uh, customization options in this version of Sense than when I use the Evo, so I look forward to trying that out a lot more and maybe creating different scenes and then updating with a video. So. Uh, here we have the bottom of the screen. Now in landscape mode, you can see you have, this brings up all your applications, and you see how quick that, that runs right there. And you also have notes. Now notes are interesting, because see I have a note here? The notes on here syncs with Evernote. So I logged into my Evernote account, and here is a note from that. So I opened up that. Now I want to do a new note. Let's do a new note here bring it up. Now I'm going to try to use the pen. You can see over here there's a menu for the pen so I will pick uh, pencil. Now I have pencil 
and I will write right in there. Now for the short time I've been using the pencil, uh, not the pencil, the pen, the HTC Scribe, it, it has been very responsive, especially having this point to it right here. So what we'll do here is we will, I wonder where you would save it. Let me, uh, there's little things right here. I'm just gonna hit the menu button here and I can share the note. I can link calendar event. I can save it, I can discard it, uh, and more. I'll use my finger. I can move it, I can print it, tips, and also settings. Now I'm gonna bring menu up again. I'm gonna share the node. And you see here, this is one of the things I really like about Android. I can share it via Bluetooth, Facebook, Flickr, Gmail, Mail, Messages, Peep, whatever. I, if I had more on there, like say, um, uh, Tweetcaster Pro, I could use that, or I can upload it to Picasa. Now, one thing I wanted to see if it would automatically uh, save it to Evernote. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to save it, and there it is. So, back up out of there, and there's two notes. Now, that should be on my Evernote account when I log in to anything, because Evernote's for just about every operating system out there. So, I want to see what I can do here if I can link the calendar event, because I think that's a cool option right there. So, menu link to calendar event and let's see here so I have all these calendar events so uh, shared with my, my personal training and also snap uh, fitness and fishhawk and I could just basically that's pretty cool so I have to see how that looks on Gmail so that's a cool little feature and I use Evernote a lot so anybody who uses Evernote can definitely benefit from that so we have Reader here, which is obviously the book reading application. Let's see what that looks like in landscape mode. And it doesn't do landscape mode, apparently, from what I can see. So it would have to be turned like this. So I'll just show the top half there. Very responsive. You can tap it, or you can actually use your finger to drag back and forth. But you can also do, just if you ever use Comic Zeal, for the iPad, you can just do that. So, and did an extra one for me. Now we're gonna go to the store real quick and see how that connects. I have a full 3G signal here for on the View 4G, so let's see here. Let's see if it's loading. All right, I'll go back to that, so. I don't want to spend too much time on that. Anyway, you can go to the store and get some books, or you can load them on here when you connect it through the micro USB port. Okay, so we'll go back to applications. I actually have Watch. I'm sorry. Go here. I had the Battle for Los Angeles uh, trailer playing, so let's back out of that and see what we have here. You have different movies. Let's see what the Green Hornet looks like. Sounds pretty good. The speaker doesn't sound too bad at all. I spend all night about the corruption. Let's pull me back out of that and see. Let's go to the store here and see what we have here. We can buy Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow for $9.99. Let's see what else we have here. Rental prices look like they're $3.99 and $14.99 to buy for some, $9.99 for others. So let's uh, give you some information there. Let's see if I can view a trailer. Rent store. I can also share that via the friend stream, Gmail, Mail, Peep, or if I had another Twitter account up there, I could do that. So I want to see if I can view the trailer. Hmm, I guess not. Here you have your downloaded ones. We're downloading. Here we have all the videos. I can tap to sign in and watch. And also here is the three trailers that are on there. So these are the downloaded videos I have on a device. So uh, definitely one. I guess you can only watch certain trailers on there. So as like I said before, this is Sense. This is where we can do all the customization. So that is the uh, bottom bar there. 
and like I said, it moves around really well. It has all the HTC Sense stuff, including uh, here we have with your connections. Now, what I f felt was really cool was the notification bar here. The notification bar in landscape mode is very interesting because, as you can see here, in regular portrait mode, it's tabbed, as you can see here. Let's get an autofocus a little, but it is tabbed, as you can see here. But I like landscape mode notification bar because, as you can see here, you have a lot of information here that's not tabbed. You also you have your notifications, you have your recent applications. Here's notifications, and here's quick settings. So if I want to turn on Wi-Fi, if I want to use the Wi-Fi hotspot, mobile network, you scroll down, and you can go straight to all your settings right there on the bottom. But you can also check off stuff that started. So, and then definitely has Wi-Fi hotspot. And I'm going to try to get a 4G signal and see how that works on its own. So, all right. But like I said before, the interesting part too about this with the pen, what I really like and what Android uh, hasn't had, and I don't know if it still even has it without rooting the device, is the ability to take a screenshot. So I can take the pen and just tap it and it takes a screenshot and I can save it, share it like always, and there comes everything I can share it to. I can print it or I can discard it. So anywhere you're at, if I'm on the internet, here, and opens up a URL, or even if it doesn't, I can just tap the pen and do that. So if I'm reviewing an, an application, this comes in very handy because I can take screenshots of the application and do that. So that's very cool. I want to see if I actually have navigation. I have Telenav on here. Uh, also, you have a bunch of different applications. I want to see what a game looks like. So the top 100 HD games. Uh, but you can also have Need for Speed on there. You can download and play. I have not downloaded that. I can do that in a separate video. See how the uh, how the View 4G handles that. Also, I want to do this. Go into settings show you some of the settings you have your account in sync you have your location search you also have a pen setting pen history for each app you can uh, save separate pen history for each app that's pretty cool auto launch scribble mode start scribble mode when i tap the screen with my pen and also a tutorial which i'll have to look at with that you have your uh, privacy connect to your pc you also have a dock function here power it's pretty interesting. It gives you a lot of different stuff on the power setting. Uh, you can hit the power save will, saver is enabled. You have a notification option. Uh, also, you have a sleep mode, a start, and then also a fast boot option on here. Uh, the sleep mode, I think, is cool. It, it, it'll automatically go to sleep from, say, 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. That's pretty cool. Also, language and keyboard. I'm going to put more Smart Keyboard Pro on here, but I'll tell you what, it, it types out very well uh, when you do that. Uh, I'm going to go to the keyboard in a second as well and show you that. Voice input and output, system updates, and about the tablet. And you can see here the hardware information. It is a 7-inch WSVGA, 1024 by 600, 5 megapixel main camera. That's the rear. The front camera is 1.3. It's got 802.11 BG and N, and also Bluetooth 3.0. So that's the hardware function. It's going to storage because I thought this was the 32 gigabyte tablet. As you see our total space 19 point this is the uh, tablet storage has under 20 gigs and then 1972 is available and the, the internal storage has a eight so that is a uh, I'm not sure the exact total available space is unavailable total space unavailable that that's because it's an SD card for a, on the setting and it does not have the ability to expand it via an S, uh, micro SD card. So that's why it says unavailable. It's all internal storage on the View 4G. So let's go back to settings here and system update. Let's see if we have any. Just checking for an update. I'm going to see what it's running actually. Let's go back to it. Okay. See a version of uh, 
Android is running on here, Tablet Identity. Not sure where it's at. There we go. Whoops. Software information is running 2.3.3. It's running the uh, 2.1 version of Sense. So just wanted to give you that on that version right there. Let's go back to applications here and have all your usual HTC, including the HTC Hub application. I'll have to sign in on that. So go back. I really like the back button here on Android. It brings you right back to where you're at. And you can see here you have favorites or frequent and also downloaded. So three tabs down there for that. And I'm looking for the pen part of this so I can do some stuff with the pen. Also have a doc mode one here, which is uh there's your doc mode. If it's in the dock, that's the uh that's a pretty cool version of sense right there. You can also change the brightness here and dim it or you hit the X and it comes out of it. So uh that's the part on that. Let's see what else we have here. I also have a media share or connect uh there's the media share one. I wonder how that connects if it's over Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi on, so when I turn Wi-Fi on, I'll have to test that and see how that works. I have to do more videos on this because I just basically picked it up and used it. I'm really enjoying the pen function, especially with notes and the ability to write all sorts of stuff within the notes application. Let's um let's delete that node. Let's do a new node because I think this really shows off the pen. Now I'm looking here, you can even use the pen option. Here's an options here. You can also have colors. Here's the paint color, here's the brush, and here's the size. So let's say if I go with that, I get a little bit of more of a spray paint option. That's more there. Oops, pick a pen. This reacts very well. There's blue, very cool, green. The, the pen option is really nice. I, I really like that and I've only used it. This is basically, I'm only five minutes into it uh, before I even started the video. So for better than that, a total of 10 minutes, I really like the pen option. I wish the iPad had something like this. So pretty good. So that's about it for now. I think I really want to play with the tablets some more, do some tests, maybe even uh, come back with a separate video uh, for doing some 3G and 4G speed tests on it. Uh, but I just want to give you an overview of what everything looks like, at least what I could find on this, on the initial impressions of what it looks like. Let's see what calendar looks like before I go. Well, I'm glad I did because calendar looks very nice. Oh, and you can see here there's a, the note is attached. Should have did that before. I can open it up in one of the mails. Uh, I can create a note in here. Pretty cool. Oh. I will save it. Let's see if we go back to the calendar, if it's there. There's, there's the note. Okay, I'm glad I did that before I went because let's see what we have here. We have the today function. We have agenda with the list and the current, what's currently today, the month. You can see it's barred off right there. Here's the week and here is the day. And you can do all sorts of stuff from the menu here. Go to more, share V calendar, remove node link, print, and also settings. I, I'm glad I went to, whoops, go back to it. I'm glad I went into the calendar because the calendar looks amazing. I like it, very nice. And one thing here, let's, um. Let's add it and let's bring up the keyboard. There's the keyboard. Now, in landscape mode, it works pretty good, but I'm really a fan of using the keyboard. If it, there's the keyboard and just with my fingers to be able to type very quickly with my thumbs back and forth. This HTC keyboard actually is not bad with the screen size. I might go with this even instead of Smart Keyboard Pro. And of course, you can use swipe. Let's see if I have swipe pre-install on this input method you do have swipe sorry bring it down here you do have swipe uh pre-installed 
on the tablet. So if you want to use swipe, you're more than welcome to. And either way, it's a very nice keyboard. So a couple extra things before I went, I wanted to definitely uh, use that. And you can see here, uh, default calendar. I will use my, that as my default calendar for the events. So very nice, put it back in the landscape mode. Uh, we will do some tests on the camera and also cover it a bit more on Wednesday's live show at 9 p.m. Uh, please tune in to T4Show.com for more reviews, more tests, and uh, more use. And also comparison to the iPad 1 as well as the iPad 2. I have both of those. So definitely compare uh, this to those two items. So the HTC Evo View for <laughs> HTC Evo View 4G. It's a mouthful. Uh, and also the HTC Scribe pen that goes along with it which I, I feel like right now might be a might be a definitely a, a necessary accessory so that's about it uh please stay tuned to more videos my name is michael manna thank you and best of luck in all your future htc evo view 4g and i wish they found a shorter name than that endeavors okay one thing i wanted to point out is down here you have a button that has a pen icon. And now you have the home, the menu, and the back button, but I overlooked it because it was very dark here. But anywhere on the tablet, no matter where you are, except for the lock screen, it seems, when you tap this with the pen, it brings up a menu for a screenshot, which I'll discard. You hit it again, it brings up notes very quickly. So anywhere you are on the tablet, if I open up, say, the web browser, I can hit this and it pops up no matter where I'm at on the tablet. So that's a, another unique feature of the View 4G and especially of the, of the uh, HTC Scribe pen. So I figured that would definitely be something people would be interested in. But you can do it with your finger. You can only touch this area with your pen. So that's about it. Now uh, for everybody here at T4 Show, thank you and best of luck in all your future endeavors.